and this is the argument writer is making please make a note of these arguments okay um, next now looking at the next article on the last page on the online edition that is on page 18 we have this article related to drug testing i hope you know that when a new drug is developed it goes through a very complicated process of testing um, to ensure the, its safety and effic- efficacy whenever a new drug is brought out brought out by a biotech company or a pharmaceutical company before human usage of the drug the drug has to put through a several rounds of clinical trials it is put through a number of safety efficacy tests and one of the initial stages of drug testing is animal testing um, correct um, since drugs can't be directly tested on human beings because of the risks of uh, toxic damage side effects and even eventual death uh, right the safety of the drug and the efficacy of the drug has to be tested out even before the clinical trials can begin so prior to granting approval for clinical uh, human trials the safety and efficacy has to be proven by the drug manufacturer through the adequate uh, animal testing this is what this is is that clear now even when the cosmetic uh, industry animal testing was widely prevalent not just uh, drug industry in the pharma industry but even in the cosmetic industry animal testing was widely prevalent but today around the world there is a greater awakening about uh, animal rights about the inhuman damage caused to innocent uh, sen- sentient beings through our testing processes so because of this global movement many countries have banned uh, cosmetic testing of the products on animals including india uh, india also have has banned unnecessary uh, any unnecessary cosmic tri- cosmetic <coughs> trials and uh, testing on animals most countries which are responsible which are progressive have already implemented this ban on the cosmetic industry but when it comes to drugs when it comes to even vaccines pharmaceutical products uh, right uh, many countries uh, they are still dependent on various animals like pigs monkeys rats uh, then even uh, rats okay uh, uh, gunia gunia pigs uh, etc these are the preferred species to test uh, out various drugs pharmaceutical products before they are pushed to uh, towards human trial human testing and the reason why we continue to rely on animal testing is because one um, one is the safety issue uh, since the drug can be risky to be administered directly on human to minimize the risks animals are preferred for testing and uh, second one is it is believed that some of these animals uh they closely resemble human genetics and human physiology like for example pigs rats monkeys etc they have very close resemblance to human tissues human organs and the way in which the human physiology functions so this is seen as a test ground to test the efficacy of the drug as well along with the testing the safety of the drug before pushing for clinical trials but such drug testing definitely is a violation of animal rights it's putting these innocent sentient beings through tremendous pain through tremendous suffering and today thanks to the advancement in technology we can move away from animal testing we no longer have to test the drugs on animals because they are new technologies available to make the shift away from animal testing even with regard to drug and vaccines in this regard india has amended a new rules that uh, the new drugs and clinical trials rules 2023 has been notified by the government of india with the objective of ending the animal testing in medical research particularly in drug testing uh, india is looking to implement a permanent ban in the coming years uh, to end the drug testing on animals forever uh, so you might ask Oh, how will drug testing be carried out in coming days will it uh, be tested directly on humans no that is not the possible as well today we have other mediums uh, of other platforms we have come up to provide for more efficient uh, and safer testing and thanks to technologies like bio printing uh, bio printing uh, organ on chips 
uh, advanced computational methods to test the safety and efficacy of drugs the development of 3d organized through the bioprinting we are able to manufacture human tissues as human cells that essentially mimic a human physiology organ on chip is a revolutionary technology uh, essentially organ uh, tissue can be replicated on a test chip on a test platform uh, by taking a uh, developing it in a certain way through a genetic engineering and biotechnology uh, it is uh, possible to create these testing beds and they are already being widely used in industries so it can mimic the functioning of a human heart it can mimic the functioning of the human blood supply functions of the liver kidney etc you can even create a scale model of human physiology physiological function and human tissue uh, and can be tested out for various drugs uh, not just for safety but even for their efficacy and in treating a disease or in preventing a disease uh, now the other problem with the animal testing was that it was never efficient uh, uh, the efficacy could never be conclusively proven because drugs tested on animals they may not have the same efficacy on humans that's why many drugs they take uh, decades of development process to achieve the right safety efficacy standards right they keep testing on animals without the right result and as a result drug trials keep on dragging which imposes a huge cost to the drug industry as well and eventually the drug they come up with the come up with right and they may not be the best suited for human beings because it was never adequately tested on human human trials are commenced only after animal testing and has gone through and animal testing is not the right way and physiology between the humans and animals are eventually different and even though there are some similar similarities right the result might vary so this is the way uh, drawbacks in animal testing as well along with the violation of animal rights uh. now with the organ on chip and uh, bioprinting where human tissues can be printed 3d organized can be printed you can more efficiently test these drugs and also ensure the safety of these drugs uh. Uh, so that so that is why the european union um, canada us uh, united states all these major countries even they are moving uh, moving away from animal testing of uh, course it will not happen overnight it will be done gradually incrementally beginning with the drug testing uh, animals uh, drug testing animals might still be needed in the research and all right all at least for as far as drug testing is concerned we can gradually reduce our dependency on animal testing which is a humane uh, it is fair for animals it will uphold the human rights and it will help drug and pharmaceutical companies to quickly test the drugs and bring out the efficient drugs into the market it will reduce their cost and it will reduce the time delay involved in the drug development and drug testing all all right it also produces more efficient drugs and safer drugs with a little uh, side effects on human being so that is what the column is talking about the column is praising the government of india and bringing out the new drugs and clinical trials rules 2023 which has set up the path for banning usage of animals in drug testing and this marks a major shift in the india's pharmaceutical industry is uh, is the clear okay Move, moving on into the prelims articles that are relevant for upsc prelims uh, the three big articles in detail now we com- going to prelims section we have a few small articles in today's newspaper uh, that is very relevant for your prelims now you look at this article on page number 1 it's very important for international security and cyber security uh, according to this article um, the ministry of electronics and information technology has commenced a new uh, open public challenge to develop an indigenous web browser uh, now we all use mobile phones laptops computers right the way we access the internet is through our browsers and the most preferred browser uh, would be google chrome mozilla firefox uh, right apple safari or um, microsoft edge these are the preferred web browsers or internet browsers that we are all using now the concern for indian government here is that all these web browsers are of foreign origin right these are all foreign products owned by foreign companies with the eventual 
uh, influence of the foreign governments uh, as well uh, and any such excessive dependency in um, the information technology domain is a huge cyber security risk uh, because there are uh, many incidents where uh, foreign companies have uh, collaborated with foreign intelligence agency to create as a security uh, security loopholes in these softwares that they develop which we call a security backdoors uh, for for example american big tech companies have been forced by the national security agency of the us to install the security backdoors so that us intelligence agency can hack into the systems by exploiting the weakness in the software and the hardware which is known only to the manufacturer and the us government so so depending upon the foreign uh, software the foreign hardware is also always a major security risk for the country it's a huge cyber security risks in this regard we had another article yesterday which is unfortunately have missed accidentally which is refers to deployment of indigenous operating system in ministry of uh, defense that is mayo software called um, maya operating system maya os see most computers that we use uh, they run uh, either microsoft windows right or apple's mac up uh, os or google's android right uh, some run even on linux based open source platforms but all these operating systems that are foreign developed that are of foreign origin always uh, represents a major security risk especially if they if these computers are being used in our critical infrastructure now imagine a uh, Microsoft window system in prime minister's office imagine an apple mac uh, system in the defense ministry right imagine such an equipment with foreign foreign softwares in our intelligence agencies in our armed forces in our power sector and in our banking sector and in financial institutions this is always represents a major security risk a hostile actor foreign uh, intelligence agency foreign military forces right or even terror groups they could always exploit this because you cannot guarantee full proof cyber security when you are depending on foreign products that is why india is trying to push indigenization of the hardware and software uh, this is is that clear so to reduce the uh, dependency on foreign uh, os or indigenous os uh, known as maya os has Maya OS has been developed by Indian agencies and institution which is being installed in the all computers of the Ministry of Defence in the South Block. Gradually, this will be extended to the armed forces of India as well. And the Indian Navy has already approved the adoption of Maya OS to completely replace the Windows and Mac. Even other um, key ministries and departments and agencies, even even they will gradually start adopting Maya OS, which is an indigenously developed OS developed based on Ubuntu uh, platform, which is a Linux based uh, OS or open source platform. Is that clear? So this is a development reported yesterday in yesterday's newspaper. It is always come with the inbuilt security features called Chakra View. uh that provides for um, high level encryption um and also to track uh, the end user and to keep the track of the security threats so it's a fair well designed operating system which is being deployed in the defense ministry it will gradually scaled up with other ministries and government agencies as well now in the back of this another report in which the points out that government of india has launched a challenge and a challenge for indians to develop a indigenous web browser to reduce dependency on foreign browsers is that clear so ministry of electronics and information is running uh, open uh, running this open challenge it is inviting software developers across the country to develop an indigenous web browser now this in this regard the challenge for india is that the browser will have to comply with the standard of controller of certifying authorities uh, controller of certifying authorities is a nodal agency in india to issue the digital signatures Uh, digital certificates uh, including digital certificates known as ssl computer science students should know what uh, i am talking about right but don't go deep to, to, don't scratch your head about these certificates just to give an explanation ssl stands for security socket layer, layer certificates uh, these are certificates which are embedded into the websites which uh, are embedded into the browsers and the browsers check for the um, 
uh, check for check for the safety of the website uh, by looking at these certificates these which are issued by recognized certifying authorities in every country there will be a recognized certifying authority in case of india we have cca controller or certifying authority which has set up under the act of 2000 under the it act of 2000 the set controller of certifying Authority CCA has established to issue the security certificates and to issue and regulate the digital signatures and in the country uh, is that clear. So the web browser which will uh, develop indigenously will have to comply with the security standards. Uh, it should get uh, the certificates and the security certificate from the controller of uh, certifying authorities but there is one challenge for India. The challenge is that web browser uh, they do not just look like SSL certificates. SSL certificates essentially encrypts the websites that you are developing. Every website will be uh, given a unique SSL certificate and the browser through which you are accessing the website they will check for the certificate. If the certificate is trusted only then the browser will give access thereby limiting exposure to malicious websites from where cyber attacks can happen. Is that clear? So browser like Google, Chrome, Mozilla, Firebox etc. They test a website before logging in. They look at the trust certificates which are given by SSN certificates which are installed these encrypted certificates are given by which are installed and these encrypted certificates are given by a certified controlling authority in the every country in case of India CCA controller certifying authority has given these certificates but the problem is with the root certifying authority in India uh, we have had a challenge with root certifying authority where the root uh, so uh, source code is uh, root source code is tested by the browser before granting access to websites uh, problem is that cca has established a root certifying authority in india but there has been a very bad track record along with checking the security level of the website and the root source code has also to be certified for that we have set up a controller authority to root the certifying authority under the controller of the certifying authority but one of the certificates it had issued through the nic and the national informatics center which is led lead government agency for all the government website it had apparently issued an fraudulent root certificates and as a result foreign browsers are not giving recognition to these root certificates given by cca is that clear uh, these root certificates which are given uh, to certify the root, sec root security it has run into problem because uh, allegedly issued fraudulent certificates uh, to some websites uh, this was flagged by major browser uh, google chrome apple safari and others they have all blocked uh, some of the certificates given by nic is that clear they are flagged it as a fraudulent so that this is where india is now relying on foreign certificates we are using uh, certificates given by foreign certifying authority as the indian certifying authority has been blocked and blacklisted by most of the web browsers it's in the context our indigenous web browser will help it reduce our foreign dependency it will increase the improve the cyber security and hence the government has launched this open initiative to help the develop our indigenous indian web browser all right so please make a note of these key points next page on page number five we have the article referring to elephant population in karnataka this article is important because karnataka has highest number of elephants in the country uh, Karnataka is home to highest number of elephants in the country and according to the latest elephant census conducted by the Karnataka Forest Department, the elephant population has increased to uh, 6,395. Uh, Karnataka has registered a jump of 364 uh, elephants uh, compared to the previous census. Uh, uh, as of uh, 2010 in Karnataka had around 5,740 elephants. This has increased to 6,072 in 2012 census. But it had slightly declined uh, to 6,449 in 2017 census. That was the last census conducted. Further, census was disrupted by the COVID pandemic. So now latest census data from Karnataka is showing that the elephant population is anywhere between 5,914 to 
சிக்ஸ் தௌசண்ட் எயிட் செவன்ட்டி செவன் ஆன் அன் ஆவரேஜ் கர்நாடகா இஸ் எஸ்டிமேட்டட் டு ஹவ் சிக்ஸ் தௌசண்ட் த்ரீ நைன்ட்டி ஃபைவ் எலிஃபென்ஸ் தோ ஸோ திஸ் மேக்ஸ் கர்நாடகா த ஸ்டேட் வித் ஹையஸ்ட் நம்பர் ஆஃப் எலஃபென்ஸ் வித் ஹையஸ்ட் எலஃபென்ட் டென்சிட்டி த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ரிசர்வ்ஸ் விச் த ஹோஸ்ட் எலஃபென்ஸ் ஆர் த பண்டிப்பூர் டைகர் ரிசர்வ் விச் ஹேஸ் த ஹையஸ்ட் எலஃபென்ட் டென்சிட்டி ஃபாலோட் பை நாகர்ஹோல் டைகர் ரிசர்வ் பயோஸ்பியர் ரிசர்வ் Uh, which is shared with Tamil Nadu in Kerala all right so elephant being an endangered species on IUCN red list it's crucial to identify the existing population keep track of their migratory corridors as well so karnataka has worked closely with the neighbor states like Tamil Nadu Kerala Andhra Pradesh Goa and Maharashtra to come out with this <coughs> with this verifiable census data which um, which in the conservation effort is that clear so these are some of the important facts that you get from the article next on uh, page number 12 um, to curb the uh, it is reported that government is looking to sell for food grains in the open market in order to stabilize the uh, in order to stabilize the food prices um, because the prices of the essential food grains have increased you might have noticed in the market the price of rice wheat atta and that is soy wheat flour and the prices have gone up because of a mismatch in the demand supply situation so to stabilize the supply side the food corporation of india which maintains a buffer stock of these essential critical grains uh, is going to release these food grains the market through open market sales scheme uh, through open market operation Uh, market uh, open market scale uh, sales sales scheme additional food grains that is rice wheat wheat flour will be released into the market by the government in order to stabilize the prices and cool down the inflation which is being seen in the food segment so you should know what is open market sales scheme oh, this is the route through which food corporation of india which holds the buffer stock in in the country it auctions the food grain to increase the supply of the grains thereby லீடிங் டு ரிடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் த ப்ரைசஸ் ஆஃப் தி எசென்ஷியல் ஃபுட் கிரேட்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் த கவர்மெண்ட் அப்ரூவ்ஸ் தி ஆஃப் லோடிங் த்ரூ ஓப்பன் மார்க்கெட் சேல்ஸ் ஸ்கீம் த ஃபுட் கார்பரேஷன் ஆஃப் இந்தியா வில் செல் த சர்ப்ளஸ் அண்ட் த பஃபர் ஸ்டாக் விச் விச் இஸ் இட் இட் இஸ் ஹோல்டிங் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் தட் த கண்டக்டட் ஆன் கமாடிட்டி எக்ஸ்சேஞ்சஸ் வி ஆர் நேஷனல் கமாடிட்டி அண்ட் டெரிவேட்டிவ்ஸ் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் லிமிட்டெட் விச் இஸ் அ பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் ஃபார் ட்ரேடிங் அக்ரிகல்ச்சுரல் கமாடிட்டிஸ் um so uh, that that uh, at this platform the surplus uh, food grains which are held as a buffer stock by food corporation of india some of it will be offloaded to increase the supply in the market thereby stabilize the prices uh, that's all uh, next um, let us uh, see in the next video okay let us continue this in, in this video itself so moving on into the next article that is uh, Um, and according to this article on, on page 12 um, in the ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana a massive frauds have been detected by the controller and um, controller auditor general in its regular audit i hope you know that ayushman bharat has two components one of the key component is that pm um, PM Jan, so under Pradhan Mantri Jan Aarogya Yojana which was launched in 2018 India is running the world's largest health insurance scheme uh, entire families are provided up to 5 lakhs insurance uh, uh, to take care of the essential uh, essential health care services including tertiary health care uh, is that clear so government bears the cost of the insurance to provide a basic health cover for families in the country and uh, to step uh, tertiary health care in the con- in the india so in this ambitious insurance scheme uh, a number of frauds have been detected by the comptroller and auditor general of india has pointed out that in many cases there is a nexus between the hospital and a few middle agents uh, who are committing frauds entries uh, and they are uh, using dead people's identities to claim the insurance amount uh, they have taken identities of the people who are already dead and shown that they have been treated in hospital by fraudulently making entries in the hospital records uh, based on these wrong entries they have claimed the insurance money uh, and it points to a corruption nexus involving few government officials and 
hospitals and few middlemen uh, this is a major concern flagged by the cat it is uh, also point out 7.5 lakh beneficiaries under the scheme have the same fake number <coughs> fake number which is uh, 10 digit of 9 how can 7.5 lakh beneficiaries have such fake number right by using this as a mobile number uh, uh, several fake claims have been made uh, this is this has been flagged by controller auditor general but the ministry of health and family welfare have defended uh, by saying that this is the not a fraud which is happen which is happening it is a case of mobile numbers not being captured in the data see this whole scheme is linked with other there is other based verification which is done uh, while the insurance amount uh, is being approved and released to the concerned beneficiary it's a completely cashless insurance which is directly funds the hospital where the patient has gotten treated so by using one fake number so many beneficiaries have been registered and cat believes that this has been used to commit fraudulent transaction but the ministry of health and family welfare is saying Mobile number may not have been correctly captured or it was not mandatory to get hold of the correct mobile number of all the beneficiaries and hence this number might have been entered so essentially the government is defending itself saying that these frauds have not happened but the CAG audit has flagged this major concern. So please be aware of the Pradhan Mantri Yojana which is one of the key component of the Aishman Bharat scheme. Next article on the page 13 we have a uh, small updates on the status of Chinese uh, economy. It's a very disturbing uh, development that Chinese economy has dipped into deflation. According to the data from the National Bureau of Statistics uh, of the Chinese government, uh, consumer price index has dropped 0.3% on the year-to-year -year basis. CPA is basically a measure of inflation at the consumer level and the drop in CPA inflation is very bad news as it indicates the deflationary trend in the Chinese economy. Um, even though producer price index which measures the price level at the producer level has declined uh, by 4.4% for the 10th consecutive month this points to a substantive decline in the demand in the Chinese economy production levels go gone down consistently and China is seem to, seen to be struggling to come out of the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. I hope you know that China followed a very strict uh, zero COVID policy. It implemented the blanket lockdown for two years, three years that deals a devastating impact on its economy. Along with that, there is a global challenges as well created by uh, Russia, Ukraine war and Western sanctions. As a result of Chinese economy has come under tremendous stress. So now the data is, uh, which is official data from the Chinese Communist Party itself is indicating deflationary trend. And trust me, this is not a good news for India as well. Some of you might feel if you if China underperforms but you shouldn't be happy because the health of the Chinese economy is critical for global economy itself. Even today China dominates the global supply chains. Many Any uh, diverse development in China will adversely affect India and the rest of the global market as well. So please make a note of this revolutionary trend. Coming to the last article on the page 14. The Amazon Cooperation Treaty uh, Organization, which I discussed a few uh, days back, uh, this organization has uh, held its summit and the South American countries, which are the member of this organization, they have decided to implement a few, uh, uh, few measures to protect the Amazon forest. The other day we spoke about this organization and explained the importance of Amazon forest in South America as far as absorbing the carbon and is concerned about Amazon is a major carbon sink. It, uh, it is a critical our, uh, our critical our fight against climate change and it is home to very rich biodiversity including a diverse set of flora and fauna but the Amazon has been facing increased threat across South American countries particularly in Brazil under the previous government. When the Brazil was ruled by a far right wing leader Cher Bolsonaro, large scale destruction of Amazon was carried out in the name of economic development industries contractors were allowed to burn down the Amazon forest. So now 
தி நியூ பிரேசிலியன் லீடர் லுலூடா சில்வா விச் ஹேஸ் அ ஸ்ட்ராங் கமிட்மெண்ட் டு என்வரான்மெண்டல் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் வாஸ் ப்ராட் தி சவுத் அமெரிக்கன் கண்ட்ரீஸ் டுகெதர் அகைன் அண்ட் ரிவைவ் திஸ் ஓல்டு குரூப்பிங் த அமேசான் கோஆப்ரேஷன் ட்ரீட்டி ஆர்கனைசேஷன் டு இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் த சர்டன் மெஷர்ஸ் டு கன்சர்வ் அண்ட் ப்ரொடக்ட் த அமேசானியன் ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் வாஸ் ஆக்சுவலி செட் அப் இன் தி இயர் ஆஃப் நைன்டீன் நைன்டி ஃபைவ் திஸ் இஸ் இஸ் தட் கிளியர் தி மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் குரூப் இன்க்ளூட்ஸ் பொலிவியா பிரேசில் கொலம்பியா ஈக்வடர் குயினா குயானா பெரு சுரினா மண்ட் வெனிசுலா தீஸ் ஆர் தி லத்தின் அமெரிக்கன் கண்ட்ரீஸ் விச் ஆர் த மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த அமேசான் கோஆப்ரேஷன் ட்ரீட்டி ஆர்கனைசேஷன் இட் இஸ் இட் ஹேட் லா லாஸ்ட் மெட் இன் த லேட் நைன்டீன் நைன்ட்டீஸ் அந்த குரூப் ஹேட் நாட் மெட் ஃபார் மோர் தென் ஃபிஃப்டீன் இயர்ஸ் ஸோ ஃபைனலி வித் த லீடர்ஷிப் ஆஃப் பிரேசில் த குரூப்பிங் ஹேஸ் பீன் ரிவைவ்ட் அண்ட் தீஸ் கண்ட்ரீஸ் ஃபாலோயிங் த சப்மிட் வி ஹேவ் டிசைடட் டு டேக்கல் த டிஃபாரஸ்டேஷன் they will be implementing several measures to protect the amazonian forest to tackle the deforestation and to conserve the biodiversity they will also take up the measures against hunting and poaching which is widely prevalent in amazon which has been encouraged by certain governments so they will work together to protect the forest and to promote the afforestation and even tackle hunting and poaching so these targets have been adopted these measures have been announced under the Uh, Amazon Cooperation Treaty Organization which uh, adopted the Bullium Bull, Bellum declaration at a place known as Bellum which is at the mouth of Amazon River that is where the meeting took place and the summit was held so the Bellum declaration brought out by the Amazon Cooperation Treaty Organization provides for these commitments through which South American countries are seeking to conserve the Amazonian forest that's all so um, uh, so this completes my detailed discussion moving on into the mains practice question uh, first question is uh, first question is the possession and uh, uh, possession and transfer and supply of uh, supply and use of cluster bomb should be banned universally as envisaged in the convention on uh, convention on cluster description because uh, the convention on cluster um, munition critically evolve it 250 watts can small nuclear modular reactors help india achieve net zero emission comment that's all for this, uh, uh, this that's all for this today thanks for watching uh, you do uh, do write your mains answers uh, start writing your mains answers uh, daily two answers will help you improve your answer writing a lot at the end of the year so please write your answers and comment in the comment section so thanks for watching have a nice day and please do subscribe our channel for your more updates